What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I'm back today but we're gonna make this intro quick because I'm running late but it is the sneak peek premiere event for Rhoda. I forget the actual full thing. Rhoda. Okay the brand new set and uh, we're at game three. You guys can kind of see the logo over there behind my head. All right we're at game three and we're gonna be playing today. I'm super excited to see what the new cards are looking like, what we can pull. We've never pulled a QCR just yet from any of these sneak peek events. We all know the Furos, 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 the Maxi, the Molcharmy card card you know what it is we want to pull a qcr of that if we're gonna get a qcr that's the one we want i know it's it's hard it's not gonna be easy but let's just hope that we can make it happen anyways with that being said i'm actually running a little bit late i let them know i'm running late but uh i didn't tell them i was gonna be vlogging before i went in so let's get in there and we can get things started let's go uh, i just want to show you guys how busy it is today i i knew it was going to be busy i didn't think it was going to be like this i wanted to get footage for you guys for the dual channel I'm not even sure if that's gonna be possible today, if I'm being honest with you, but this is crazy. A really, really good turnout. I'm excited today because uh, I actually might be filming some shorts. There's a lot of people here to film some shorts with and there's a lot of familiar faces as well. So I'm kind of excited. All right, but with that being said, I just paid, I just signed up. I'm gonna go collect my kit and then I'm gonna show you guys what we pull. Let's go. Rage of the Abyss, six packs over here. Let's see if we can hit on these six packs. I know this is an awkward angle, but I don't really have a lot of space to set up. Let's see what we can hit. I haven't seen a QCR on this table yet. Super rare. Cool, cool, cool. We're hoping for at least a secret rare. At least a secret rare. You're not guaranteed a secret. QCR or a secret would be really, really nice here. Okay, another super rare over here. Another super rare. Nothing too crazy just yet, but... But we have a chance. I'm also looking for the Mimigul card. So you know what? I wouldn't mind pulling... Oh! Ooh, we hit the Lacrima. Secret rare. That's actually pretty good. That's a good one of. Uh, a lot of the Fiendsmith engines need this. So that's that's a really, really good one. However, that does not take up the spot of the QCR. So there is a shot for a QCR over here. And potentially another ultra rare, which would be really nice. Goblin brand. Okay, okay. Two more packs here. We got two more packs to go. See if we can hit on these last two packs. Ooh! I have no idea what this card is. Double secret though. I have no idea what that second one is, but you know what? A secret rare is a secret rare. And our very last pack, probably not gonna have anything in it though. Yeah, just super rare. Yeah, not too bad though. Not too bad. Hyrule? Why would you have two? Ten? Four. What do you want? I'll go first. Good luck. Good luck. Not too bad. Uh, say what? Uh, shifting. All right, boys. So we just had to step out. It is so busy in there, and I couldn't honestly vlog without just noise everywhere. So let me talk to you guys real quick. We just finished our round one, and uh, unfortunately, we ended up losing. We're playing against Rescue Ace, which is honestly the worst matchup for Kashira. They have a Book of Moon card. They have like the Imperm that they set. They have a Pop that they set. So unfortunately, like my deck doesn't lose too too much to the gates, but it loses more to just all that like random disruption, the Book of Moon, the Pops, and whatnot. So we ended up losing in game three, which kind of sucks. But we did have some footage, so I'm gonna show you guys that footage as well. Also, I was able to get a corner set up, so there is going to be dual videos on the dual channel. You guys need to check that out. We're on the way to a thousand subscribers on that one, so make sure to go check that one out. But with that being said, it's still going to be a really good time. We had some pretty good pulls from our packs. I haven't moved the Lacrima just yet, but I want to use it for some trade fodder because there are some other things that I want from this set to build some deck profiles for you guys. With that being said, though, I got to get back in there and find out if round two is about to start. So let's go. A few moments later. So I didn't think I'd be coming back to you guys so soon, but uh, we actually have the buy for round two, which is kind of funny. We're playing against Mert, funny enough, who entered just because he wanted the packs. And so he pulled his packs, but then he didn't want to play. So technically we get the buy now because he's just giving us the win, which is nice. We can actually take a little breather, especially with, I want to show you guys. It's all full, like the entire store is full. And it's such a good vibe here, I love it. Everybody here, so this is actually the first time for a lot of my friends here, especially the guys from Emmett's, right? And a lot of them are saying the store is a really good vibe, they're having a good time. But at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go chill now. I don't know what else to do. So I'm gonna go chill and then I'll catch you guys in um, after round three, I guess. Five, not very high. Four, less high. I'm gonna go first. It's, it's a gang thing. Yeah. Crazy hand, actually. I'm gonna play into Droll though. Activate Rachel. I don't even know what I have in my hand. Scareclaw Cash. Can you Droll me now? Yay! 
Special unicorn! Fact! Birth. Activate birth. Sure. Good. Normal Fenrir. Fair enough. Fact. Yep. Prize. Special summon. Fact. Uh, banish top three. Please be good cards. I'll banish Ogre. Now the question is, do I want to go Ogre? Or do I want to go rank seven? I think I'm going to go rank seven here so I don't play into Nib. Shangri. You know what I'm actually also going to do? Activate Terra for me. Deck thin so I don't draw it later. Pass. Same by. Oh, draw? Whoa, draw phase! Semi is main. Semi? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I'm playing into Anima Zone! No, I forgot that card exists! Let's go main phase. Main phase, cool. Oh, he's playing good cards! Uh, that's good. He's not playing good cards anymore! <laughs> He's not playing good cards anymore. Guys, I'm gonna step outside because it is still really loud in there and I do wanna talk to you guys. But we just finished our round three and we ended up winning. I didn't get too much footage of the duel itself, but we ended up winning. We were playing up against Unchained Fiendsmith Musket. That The deck is actually really, really good. And the traps are really, really annoying for the Unchained cards. However, we were able to pull out a win in game three. The deck is really good, honestly, but Fenrir and Unicorn just being able to rip the extra deck of any Fiendsmith player, any U Bell player is just absolutely insane and that's why i think kishtira is one of those underrated decks in today's format because it's a lot of picking apart where before you know you could push for a game on otk which you can still do but if you don't it's really nice because you can get rid of their engraver you can get rid of their one ofs and all that kind of stuff and then you're kind of winning so kishtira i think is still a very powerful deck on top of that shifter is still at three and shifter is an insane card so we are two and one right now we're still in the race i think there's only one more round i don't think it's five rounds i think it's four rounds and uh if we do end up topping we get some pricing i don't think we get it today i think when rota comes out we win some packs something like that i don't even know how it goes but we're just here to have a good time and continue practicing and getting better at the game so with that that being said, let's see what we get paired up with for our fourth round and uh, hopefully we can win and take home some prizing. Alright, high roll? Sure. Not very high. Wait, what'd you get? I think, did I get a three or a four? Three? I think I got a three, but I'm not sure. Okay. Check, check Yo, the check, check the tape. <laughs> so after checking the VOD, I, I rolled a three. Oh, okay. So you got it. <laughs> Alright, what do you want? I'll go first. You'll go first? Yeah, Good luck. Wow, this is a great hand. Stand by? Nothing. Okay. You're good. Light Sworn. What? Link 1? She's a Light Fiend? What? Wait a second. Nothing on summon. I am gonna ash that. She's a Light Fiend. That's insane. Soon after. Guys, this might be the end of my run. I'm getting cooked. My hand's not bad though. So as you guys can see, we are back in the studio. I forgot to end off the vlog last night, if I'm being completely honest with you. I got back home kind of late and I had a great time. Let me tell you guys how the day ended though. So in our final round, we ended up tying against our Light Sworn Bestial opponent. The yeah, thing is, I don't think it can burn you. Oh, but on your own turn, right? Because all you have is black. I have red eyes, but if you just don't activate anything, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We tied, because I have a pretty good hand, actually. Yeah, I, well, I could birth back in a if I wanted to. Yeah. Right? But even if I don't, like, I could just go normal summon, activate a fat, sun Fenrir, make a normal summon, sun back Fenrir. I could break the board, essentially. I won't be able to kill you, because the thing I don't have a battle phase. The only burn I have is this. But I can't bring you on my team because like you just don't be an idiot, don't activate it. Basically. All right, on camera, it was a tie. And that was a great, great match. But unfortunately, going X11 means you didn't get any prizing. Now, we could have played our fifth round, but at that point, it was like 10.45. And I was like, man, you know what? I want to go home, catch some Zs. I'm not playing for anything anyways. But it was a very, very great event overall. But there is something that I wanted to highlight from the event. And I'm going to show it to you guys right now. So obviously, you guys saw what we pulled. But these are some cards that we traded for today. And while they're not super expensive, I'm still on my quest to hunt down all of these QCRs. So we got the Torrential, the First Movement Solo, Giant Trainer, Green Gadget, Yellow Gadget. And even if they're not staples, like the Gadgets, I, I like Link Spider, I like Terra Top. Like these cards are so nice just to own the QCRs, just to max out on these deck profiles for you guys so you guys can get some shiny cards. But I also really love these alternate arts for tuning as well as the limited removal. I absolutely 
absolutely love this artwork. So I, I think there's some pretty good trades for the day. Nothing too crazy, nothing super high end, but just some stuff to build up the collection. And now we got to sort through all of our bulk over here. I love this field center, by the way. Side note, I really, really like it. But now we got to organize all of this bulk and uh, let's see. I mean, it's not that much, but this is a good set, man. I'm excited to open more of it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching. I want to give a big shout out to Game 3 for being such a great host. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more UU content just like this one. We also do deck profiles, combo videos, product opening, all that good stuff right here on the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to check it all out. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.